Hey guys, what's up? So today I got a video for you. Uh, we have a Carpenter School Bus Parts Catalog and a Carpenter Bus Body Maintenance Manual we're going to take a look at. Um, so let's get started. So first we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Carpenter Maintenance Manual. Um, you can see we've got the Carpenter uh, emblem, symbol of safety and service. Um, a lot of the older buses would have had this. Uh, on the roof with like a, a C coming around it um, and you can see bus body maintenance manual carpenter um, so this really doesn't have any pictures of buses in it um, on the back it says the safest link between home and school but this and there's the carpenter logo again um, but this doesn't have any um, real pictures of school buses in it um, there's the introduction, and then you get right into it. Um, I believe this is talking about servicing the bolts on the body and stuff like that. Um, and this book is actually really small. So, you know, with most uh, school bus manuals, it just tells you, you know, what to service, when to service it, um, and stuff like that. Like, there's an electrical circuit guide, um, as you can see. And then there's uh, regular maintenance and safety and proper care. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of stuff right there. So, like I said, there aren't any pictures of school buses in here. It's just the, um, circuitry and stuff. Um, so, yeah, that is the, uh, well, actually, that's kind of a roof cap right there. But you can kind of see the outline of the bus, um, and I'm guessing that's for, yeah, that's for circuitry. So, yeah, um, that is the, uh, maintenance manual. Uh, next we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the parts catalog. Alright, so for the parts catalog, um, we've got the outline of a bus. It says conventional D, DV, and V. I'm not sure what those would stand for. I'm guessing uh, they're standing for body setups, uh, like, you know, short bus, long bus, you know, stuff like that. Um, number 70, whatever that means. Carpenter school bus parts catalog and transit uh, PT and FT. Um, and then below, that's where you'd order your parts from. I got the Carpenter logo. I believe this one is from the 70s. On the back, we've got the Carpenter School Bus Parts Catalog. Um, Carpenter Body Works, Mitchell, Indiana. Now, this one's a little bit thicker. Now, this one actually does have pictures of buses in it. You can see the bodies. We've got like a GMC uh, Carpenter right there. Um, there's the what a Carpenter build plate would look like. Uh, tells you how to order. Uh, parts for your buses, the sales policy, there's the um, index, uh, let's see what else we got here, we've got some different uh, roof cap styles and front end styles, um, as you can see there's a multi-purpose bus uh, and then two school buses, um, and then this is just uh, showing you on here what these numbers mean and all the parts that go with those numbers uh if we turn the page it just keeps going you've got more pictures of buses i'm guessing that's kind of a california spec carpenter uh got the bumper and again the numbers are all uh, go to these parts so you can order them uh there's i just showed you those uh if we keep going more parts uh, here's the outline of a frame. You can see the door frame, the side, driver's side of the frame, and there's the uh, frame again, or the front of the bus again, and just more pictures of the frame. Um, and the numbers again, they tell you, you know, what what part it is and stuff like that. Uh, there's just more framework. Uh, let's see here. More framework. There's the back framework. Um, we've got the interior right there. Um, let's see. There's the back of the bus from the inside. Uh, there's the doors uh, and the pieces that they'd come in. Um, there are more doors and the pieces, the, the shapes they'd come in. You can see the different uh, versions of the two front pieces and the two back pieces. These two would go together and these two would go together. And then uh, we've got all the other door parts. Um, and there's just more parts, uh, you know. And again, it, it's got every part on the bus, so that way you can order it. Um, this is the heaters uh, for the models right there. It shows you. Um, and then just 
more pictures of the heaters and the parts. Uh, there's the windows. Um, let's see, some more windows. Shows you how a window goes together. More parts. Trying to, there's the mirrors. Uh, those are warning lights and stuff. So that's pretty cool. It shows you the lights. Um, let's see. There's the seats, driver seats and passenger seats. Uh, I don't believe they're. Oh, we got a transit. Um, that's the older style carpenter uh, body. And then there's a front engine. We see the big carpenter lo or emblem. And uh, yeah. And then there's the back end of a rear engine carpenter transit. And then frame again. That'd be the frame for a rear engine transit. Um, there's the inside of a transit. There's the engine cover. I'm guessing that would be for a uh, multi-purpose transit because you can see those transit style windows like for a city bus. There's the inside of another rear engine transit. And you've got uh, more parts there. And that's it. So yeah, uh, those are the uh, Carpenter uh, bus manual and Carpenter parts catalog. Um, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Have any of you guys ever ridden on a Carpenter school bus? Um, now I know uh, they went out of business in the early 2000s, so um, most of them now are out of service. I mean, they're still... Um, a few probably running around in California and states that, you know, uh, might not have rust uh, problems or up here, uh, you know, where I live. Um, but my district had some carpenters. Uh, the last one we had was sold in 2017. Uh, now, I wrote on them, um, and I also wrote on the Crown by Carpenters we had, um, which are basically carpenters with the front end of a Wayne. Um, but anyways... Uh, let me know down below if you've ever ridden on a carpenter, um, which most of you probably haven't uh, if you're younger. But uh, for those of you who have, um, what kind of carpenter did you ride on? I rode on a Carpenter International 3800 with a T444E. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Um, I do have some upcoming videos uh, to look be looking out for. Um, I've got some IC bus mugs that I'm going to be doing a video on probably mid-April um, because it's something I'm still in the process of planning but uh, expect for that and then um, I've got an Amtran maintenance uh, book that actually has VHS tapes with it um, and I was thinking about doing a review on those, so if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know down below. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think.